Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a large vesicle growth which has invaded the ureteric vesicle junctions on both sides and there is gross hydronephrosis with the hydroureter on both sides. You can see the large mass. It is semi-solid to solid in consistency and quite a large mass and it measures about 14.1 centimeter into 9.1 centimeter. There is no significant blood flow seen in this mass. An ultrasound scan is used to show if a growth is present and how large it is. Ultrasound cannot always find small tumors, so additional tests may be required. Ultrasound scans with a full bladder are mandatory to see all the findings. Tumors can be either benign or cancerous. Bladder cancer or bladder tumors are relatively common and most bladder tumors are cancerous. One of the basic abdomen, abdominal organ that, organs that are assessed during transabdominal ultrasound examination is the urinary bladder. The bladder must be filled with urine. This is prerequisite for a reliable assessment and at the same time a costing window in examining adjacent structures or organs, for example, example the prostate gland and female genital organs. This is a male patient aged above 60 years. Sonography enables detection of 95% of exophytic lesions within the urinary bladder with a diameter exceeding 5 mm. Now you can see the kidney. This is the right kidney and it shows gross hydronephrosis with hydroureter. Similar is the condition of left kidney. Mostly it is carcinoma of the urinary bladder due to the, its malignant character and the need for aggressive surgical treatment. A correct diagnosis of disease is essential for patients as the lack of adequate treatment and delayed treatments considerably affects the prognosis. High-grade bladder cancer is likely to grow and spread quite quickly and become life-threatening. High-grade cancers often need to be treated with chemotherapy, radio, radiation or surgery. Low-grade cancers appear non-aggressive and have a low chance of becoming high-grade. Most bladder cancers are diagnosed at an early stage when the cancer is highly treatable. Now you can you will see the left kidney and this is the left kidney and you can see, see gross hydronephrosis with hydroureter. The urinary bladder is distended and has extended up to the umbilicus due to urinary retention. Most bladder cancers are diagnosed at an early stage when the cancer is highly treatable, but even early stage bladder cancers can become can come back after successful treatment. For this reason, people with bladder cancer typically need follow-up tests for years after treatment to look for the bladder cancer that reoccurs. Bladder ultrasound can show how much the urine in the bladder holds when it is full and whether someone completely empties the bladder when urinating. Bladder ultrasound is often done along with an ultrasound of the kidneys. As you can see in this case,
bladder cancer develops when cells in the bladder begin to grow abnormally rather than grow and divide in an orderly way these cells develop mutations that cause them to grow out of control and not die thanks for watching you can see some important information in the description of this video thanks for watching please subscribe my channel if you do like this video please click the like button thanks